everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a different type of video and it's a get ready with me talking about um, basically my degree I have gotten some questions about my degree and I got a DM from Stacy so hi Stacy <laughs> and she had some questions about the academic process of my HR degree so we're gonna talk about that today and kind of the career path I took so, um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Anna. I talk about all things beauty. My ring light is kind of washing me out, so I just changed the setting. We have Piglet joining us today in the back background. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So if I don't name, um, name a product or whatever, it is linked in the description box below. It may be an affiliate link, um, and that does give me a very small commission. Um, if you use that link, you don't have to, but it always does help my channel out when you do. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer today. A little more of like a grippy primer. I'm also feeling really dehydrated, so. For my HR degree, I was, I don't know if I would consider myself a non-traditional student or what, um, but I did. I do not have a bachelor's degree in HR or business or anything like that. So when I was looking at schools, I was originally going to school for music. And I found out a little later than maybe I should have that it wasn't a path that I wanted to go down. I did not want to be a teacher. Um, I have a whole video about that and I will link that down below for you. And I talk about like basically how I felt about being a music major and the stress that I really pushed down on myself between the years of like 26. 16 and 2018 so um, I'm gonna link that video down below for you I knew I wasn't gonna go back to complete my degree in music um, and so I decided that I was gonna go for school for one of three options I was gonna either go to school for business administration healthcare administration human resources um, I decided that business management business administration was not for me because it was a little too broad and I didn't really know what exactly I wanted to do with that so I just thought okay it's a little too broad for me um not gonna do it um healthcare administration I liked the idea of it because it's a high paying job <laughs> um business in general I think is I would have been required to take CNA classes and stuff like that and that is not my vibe and I'm so glad that I decided against that because I started school in fall 2019 and in 2020 COVID happened so it, very smart for me not to go into the healthcare field thank you past me and I decided on HR um, I didn't really have a reason behind that I just knew that there were so many avenues down HR that I could do because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do you know when I when I got into it but I knew that with HR it could take me down the road of many different things I could go down the road of like management I could go down the road of like being a benefits administrator or specialist and I could like work for I could do an HRIS which is the human resources information systems um, I could do that I could do recruitment I could do consulting I could be like an HR business partner. I knew that there were a lot of different avenues and I was doing a lot of research behind it. So that's ultimately where I decided. You know, I was like, I don't really know what I want to do. Like, I don't know where I see myself in five years, but I knew that the that it was going to be a little more open for me. So that's why I decided with HR over business administration because it had more of a clear cut path, but there was also significant like options for me thought I was gonna get my bachelor's degree I really did and um, after kind of looking at cost and you know whatnot I surprisingly went down the route of an associate's degree which I did not think I was gonna do I I feel like it was kind of like I feel like us millennial Gen Z years kind of feel that you know it was kind of ingrained in our system that you know we're gonna go to college we're gonna get a good job and when you get that college degree doors will be open for you right um so it's kind of ingrained in me like i'm gonna get a four-year degree i did not want to take generals i was like i just want to get into 
HR. So that's why I chose an associate's degree. And you know, looking back um, in my current job that I'm in now, let me backpedal here. <laughs> so I have done a few videos on like my toxic job and whatnot um, that I had right before, which was over a year ago. Okay. Um, and I talked about how they made me feel inferior for having an associate's degree, which there's nothing wrong with an associate's degree. I applied for jobs that had a requirement of a bachelor's degree. When I asked my now manager, you know, why did you, you know, you had a requirement, you know, or pref a preparation of a BBA or a bachelor of science or a bachelor of business administration. And I just have an associates. And it was like, it just, it doesn't always depend on their degree. Your degree does not define you either. So if you just have an associates degree, that doesn't make you any less qualified for a job you know maybe if you're getting if you're applying for like a director position or something big um but you know just starting out i graduated in spring of 2021 and i graduated with honors which i'm excited to say that <laughs> and i you know i all my classes were directly related to my degree um i did have to take shoot maybe one or two generals that I did not have with my bachelor's degree that I was working on um, at the four-year university. So I did have to take those. But what was really nice is that the um, a lot of the courses that I took, they, were, they transferred over to um, my current program. So I was really happy about that, but I didn't have to retake it. So honestly, I feel like growing up, I my school especially like really dogged or like really talked negatively about a tech school degree or a two-year degree. There's nothing wrong with a two-year degree. I'm here to tell you that right now. Um, I actually, um, when I give career advice or I don't really give career advice, I'm, I know nothing, honestly. I look back and I'm like, that was the smartest decision I've ever made because with my tech degree, I was able to do classes online I could do them at 100% my pace, which that's really, I found out how I learned best was doing classes online and self-studying. And I think that's why I really thrived so much. I got like a 3.9 GPA <laughs> and I was averaging about a 3.5 in like regular in-person, like four year degree music courses. So I really found that I learned better that way um, but also I was working full time while doing it. Um, I knew I had to support my household. You guys remember back in the day when I was uploading five days a week and, and going to school full time and working full time. So it was really nice to be able to do that. Um, but also I could limit my courses depending on it. So I did have to take one semester with 15 credits instead of the normal 12 and that was kind of a lot <laughs> but what i like about like what i liked about it is that again i could do it at my own pace so if i wanted so i had it like set up where like sunday was like my school day and then i got my work done by like thursday by like wednesday and then thursday friday saturday it'd be my days so <laughs> um that's what I loved about it. You know, if you're looking into school right now and you're like, mm, I don't know, should I go get a tech, like a two-year degree? Should I get a four-year degree? Honestly, with the way low college debt and everything is going, get a two-year degree. I'm serious, get a two-year degree. Um, I don't think my career has had any disadvantages thus far because I have a two-year degree versus if I were to get a Bachelor of Business Administration. Um, that being said, I knew that I also wanted to further my career in other ways. So I will go down my like my career path, but I knew I wanted to further my career in other aspects of my life. So um, one is getting the SHRM certification, which is a Society for Human Resource Management certified professional. They also have a senior certified professional as well. Um, I have not been in my the career field for five or more years, so I am not <laughs> a senior <or> anything. <laughs> um, and that's just out of the SHRM guide, guidelines. So I am certified through them. I have my, so I'm technically Anna, last name, comma, SHRM hyphen ZP. So um, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but that 
that certification came along with self studies and that was a very hard exam um out of all of the exams that i have taken whether they have been in accounting courses economics music even like music history and stuff i think that was the hardest exam that i've ever taken because a lot of these things you know a lot of it is like what is this what is an example of this but then there are situational judgment questions where or sjqs <laughs> i feel like i sound like a lot more knowledgeable than i am um but what these are um they give you a situation but if but it's like well if i had this information it'd be b but if i but if it were this way it'd be a <laughs> and so it, it's just it's a very difficult exam I not score perfectly on it and I know what I need to work on, but I feel like some of those questions in the Sherman exam are like made to mess you up. <laughs> so my career path, like I said, I graduated in spring of 2021 and I was working a job that I don't, that I was just kind of working to like pay the bills. It wasn't a great job by any means, but I knew I wanted to get into my field more. So I became an HR, like administrative type of assistant. And I worked in that role for about three months. And then I was promoted to human resources coordinator. So that coordinator role, um, it was like the HR manager, but you did everything. And that was, that, that was a lot. Um, it was a very big role and I did not have support or anything. So I think um, in a way I do feel like I was set up to fail in that role. What I do have to say is that um, I did everything from hiring to firing, <laughs> to writing policy and procedure, to implementing handbook changes, to, tr to administering trainings, to that's a lot of work. <sighs> I really liked recruitment. I thought that was my, that was my favorite part of the job. Okay, I'm going in with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Palette. Um, I think this was from last year. I feel like it was, or it was a cinnamon bun one. I don't know, <laughs> but we're going in with this one. I don't know. So anyways, I I realized that I really liked recruitment and I wanted to, well, I was kind of in a, in a different situation that I think most people were in, but I, this company was like pushing me out the door. I had some very, very toxic management there and I knew I wanted to get out. So basically I applied for everything. <laughs> um, I didn't care if I was an HR representative, which is someone who mainly takes care of like um, benefits, payroll, you know, all that stuff. I didn't care if I was in a generalist role. Um, I didn't care if I was in talent acquisition or an HR assistant or an HR coordinator. I didn't care because I just knew I wanted a better, less toxic work environment, right? I had a few interviews, um, actually. It was actually really, um, it kind of like boosted my ego a little bit. Um, I got one very good offer that to this day I'm like, wow, that was a, that was a good one. But I didn't take it because I really wanted to work at the place I'm at now. Um, but I had a couple interviews. Um, I was interviewing at one company who is now closing down, which I'm so <laughs> I didn't work out there. Um, but it was for an HR representative position. Um, I would be doing, I would be their benefits and payroll kind of person. It wasn't what I wanted to do, but I knew that I was going to take whatever came towards me and that I was going to learn and be open-minded. Um, I also had an interview for an HR assistant role, which um, and it, it would be like a, it was like an HR and safety assistant person. So I'd be working with the safety manager and the HR manager. And I, you know, I met the president of the company. They gave me a larger offer than that role would have had. And they said, if I did well in six months, I'd be promoted to a generalist. And whew, that was a, that was a hard offer to turn down because I was like, wow, like I can see a promotion within my future. And I had no doubts that I was gonna do well, but I also knew that I was gonna be taking a step down if I would've taken that position, right? Because I was going from a coordinator, I was the person, unfortunately I had to fire people, I had to, 
you know, I did everything, man. I was writing policy and procedure for that organization left and right. And then I interviewed for the position I'm in now, which is a talent acquisition specialist. And, you know, I think there's ups and downs to every role, right? <laughs> um, work is not a dream, right? I, I, I'm gonna say that right now. Um, as a Gen Z, I, I firmly believe that, you know, I do not live to work. <laughs> um, I feel like there's more to my life than working. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of people are like that, right? They, they like that separation. What I like about my job is that I only focus on recruitment and interviewing. And um, I think that's really cool. I like doing that. And nothing feels better than giving an offer of employment to somebody and hearing the excitement of them on the phone, right? Yeah, that's where I'm at now. And I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be a talent acquisition specialist forever. Like, I'll be the first person to tell you that. Like recruitment, while I love recruitment and I feel like I would always want some aspect of that in my, in my role, I don't think it's like my end all be all. I think there's more to me and I want to grow my education further. With that so that means i want to i want to be i would like to be a generalist at some point i could see myself online i should say years <laughs> be like an hr manager you know something like that yeah that's kind of like my career path what brought me to where i want to go um but what I, what I always like to say is get your associate's degree okay and find a job that has tuition reimbursement now i'm not talking about like oh two thousand dollars a semester like i'm talking about like find a company who will reimburse you for your education. Um, my current employer has that, and that has motivated me to go get my bachelor's degree, I think, anyways. <laughs> I'm going to do it for fall of 2024. And it's gonna be a slow process. I'll take like one class, two classes. But the thing with that is that you pay it up front, and then you get with a passing grade and the company writes you a check. And I love that, right? Um, and so I, I, I've told a lot of people that, but like find a company that's gonna pay for your education. Um, sometimes there's a contract involved where you have to stay there for X amount of years. But overall, I think that is the best, most financially responsible move to go. One question I forgot to address was um, my HR classes. So I, my curriculum, I mean every, school's curriculum is slightly different just depending um but i just took like i took management courses i took a marketing course payroll accounting i hated payroll accounting <laughs> um i took human resource law that was my favorite course i think that was so cool um why can't i even think about what else I took. I took like a training and development course, like how to run a training and I don't know, I didn't, class wasn't very well organized. I think, you know, if you, you gotta be really organized to take classes online, but I also expect the professor to be organized as well. And mine was not. <laughs> I took a benefits and payroll class. Like I, t I, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a benefits type of course. That was interesting. It taught me everything I need to know about benefits. My capstone, and then I did my internship, which was at a job that I had where I created a training manual, which was really cool. I'm really proud of that. So I think, you know, like I said, there's flexibility with taking online courses. I really enjoyed it. And that's how I want to get my bachelor's degree as well, is through online learning. Now, things I wish I would have done differently I mean, obviously, I wish I would have started my career earlier <laughs> um, in HR, but hey, like, I think we all live and learn with that kind of stuff. I don't really know what else I would have done differently, I'm kind of thinking about it and looking back because things really fell into, you know, <laughs> what they were. And, you know, no, I do have one other thing. I wish I would have maybe known more of what I wanted to do maybe like done a little more research on the different opportunities in the area with human resources like that kind of stuff um so applying for jobs <laughs> um i got this question too so for applying for jobs um there are a lot of job scams out there i like to look on indeed linkedin um glassdoor zip recruiter 
and sometimes Google Jobs. Google Jobs has some good stuff too. That is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I know it was a little all over the place, um, but obviously, you know, you pick the course that's best for you. Um, you know, career path, whatever that may be. But I do think working in some sort of business area, whether that is accounting, finance, project management, whatever that is, um, I think that's a really good steady path to be on. And I don't regret getting my degree in the slightest. And I think um, that hopefully I will be set up for success in the future. So um, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.